Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to Token Mode and today I'm going to talk about Declan Rice. So, as we know, come on, we won the uh, the Europa uh, Europa Conference League final and I took my day, I took and take some days of work to watches and to have fun, you know, and it's good. We did well, we are, uh, we stuck in there. I thought we'd lost when Jovic had put that goal in, in the first half. And when when Mom got that penalty, it, it was a bit, a bit fucked, to be honest. Um, could have put it on either way. But yeah, he did have his hand up by the side, like pushing through, pushing through like that. Which kind of get it, yeah. They gave it to us in a little bit. And then they went down the other end, and the same thing happened to them. But we had a guy had his hand by his side. So they asked for it, and I thought it was a bit, yeah, a bit been given. And, um, <clears throat> that happens, and then we get to this, get to like days in the ninth minute. If, um, I think it's true, true, puts the ball through. And then, you see Bowen start to run, and I'm like, gets through, there's wide open space behind the fence, comes in, runs, touch, touch, runs, goes, goes slightly wide around the keeper coming up, picks it, it, it hits the keeper, bounces over him, and it goes in, and we won. You're really funnel. That bit, that begs me the point is, I've been hearing in the news recently that, well, two years ago, Dick and Rice, um, they renew his contract and he was going to leave at the end of his contract. So it's been two years. He's um, he's made it to the end of his contract pretty much. With coming to coming to the end of his contract and um, leaving, and. He didn't use contract, so they offered him two hundred thousand pounds a week, and he's kept his one hundred thousand pounds a week contract for the last two years. Now he's leaving. I don't know if that means because he wants to see if you get for a more fair price, but the, the club's asking. He, I think it was a hundred million plus pounds from the leave. Is that fair? He's moving to that club in England, sure. But are there other options in the market? Also, sure. Um, that begs me the point. Is Dick and Rice, right? He's priced up moved to Liverpool. Arsenal want him. Um, Man United potentially want him. And Charles D. Wigan to buy him, and he said no. Because their club is a mess at the moment. If I'm we're all offering a, a contract from the guys to Barbarian Giants, but he doesn't want him to leave England. I think his family sealed there at the moment, so I'm leaving would have to do quite some real convincing. He's not young anymore. About 25, I think he is. I'm dead from the rise to 25. And, and it brings us to the point of what he's 24 and anyway this is the point of it's it's it's, it's time for him to leave if he wants to leave right no point keeping him here anymore if he just wants to be here he wants to go and get champions league go on he's a big player um he came to the academy he um he botched he switched from ireland to play for england and um and McGrellish, yeah. What team of Ireland could they have? They had Grellish and they had Dick and Rice. Interesting, I know. I think about that. But comparison to some of the moves that are going on in the Premier League at the moment, McAllister moved for thirty five million because of his contract uh, of course. Thirty five million. And I'm sure there's more players in a market where we see this that will be cheaper than yeah, Declan Rice move. Arsenal do need a 
Don challenged Thomas Party. Um, I don't know if he's should be at the club anymore. What happened to Party? What Party's done in the past? He's kind of got away with stuff and not good. Arsenal are looking well because they're, they're losing. Um, Jacques is leaving. Um, and Arsenal, Arsenal are also losing some more players. And in the news, and they, they, they Marco is going with two, two targets at the moment, and he's just had to look for the Muhammad Sikh, Sikh McKin, and Devani Rash, which. I know Rash is a, a Dutchman. That's all I know about. Uh, right? Midfield, uh, yeah, midfield is also the area of the conflict and strength in. And that happens to be either West Ham skipper Declan Rice, well, what Moise is Casado, and AIK Gundogan. I think Gundogan would be a good rotation player to add to the mix. Like, maybe not as good as not Shikiri, um as good as Xhaka, but he's he I could uh, on his day he can be he can be as good as Xhaka if not better. And you yeah, know, um the him and Rice and Party and the Arsenal midfield. It would be an interesting thing to see, you know. Arsenal uh it could be quite a mix of at the club coming up at Arsenal. Because the current midfield situation, right? Arsenal current midfield situation has what you've got. You've got party. You've got, oh, we got a more attacking midfielder. You've got Smith, bro. Who knows how, if he'll be there in the end of season. You can know about Evan Ketia. You've got, of course, you've got Rob Holding, which is probably leaving, which you can play as a midfielder. Um, you've got Take Tommy Take Eric from Yashu, a uh, fair bit at the end of the season. You've got the other really midfielders, there's Fabio Vera, who's not hit the ground running, and Jorginho. And you need some more, what do I say? More. more I don't know, more challenge. Because they flopped with the Bar Bar Balogun's looks like he's going to leave. Habimari looks like he's going to leave. Because Pepe looks like he's going to leave. You know, Tavares, who knows about him? Nate Men's Nile might leave. Nate Men's Nile might leave. Which means Declan Rice. Looks to be a good fit or good or good chance for Arsenal, but he may be priced out. That leaves who else? Who would go for him after that? Man United are look like they're going to spend seventy five million dollars on Mason Mount, over a hundred million for Declan Rice. He may get priced out of a move and leave on a free, which in the next coming years, which would not be good for for West Ham and angered Declan. <laughs> so I don't know. At least you won the European trophy for West Ham. Goodbye.